Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I'm here to review yet another superhero CW show. And clearly, I need a Black Lightning shirt. Because <laughs> I just got done watching Black Lightning, the season 2 premiere. And what a great episode. Look, I didn't, I didn't hate The Flash in that first episode of season 5. But when you watch this right after... It was not a good idea to put these two shows back to back because the lapse in quality with The Flash, seeing how much more care, time, and effort was put into just this one episode alone, I loved it. I loved a lot about it. At the beginning, you see that Jefferson and his family are under investigation because they know that something shady is going on, that they are somehow involved in Black Lightning and everything that he has going on. I'll be interested to see how they can get out of that or if they'll get out of that. There is a pretty awesome, badass parking lot fight scene between the character Kara and Cyanide and they went at it man. First it started as a shootout and then they ran out of bullets so they just went hand to hand, fist to fist and, and between the music and just seeing two women duke it out, it was great. I was sad to see Cyanide go because yeah she's a villain but I liked her as the right hand woman of Tobias and and I wanted to know more about her. I thought she was an interesting character. Maybe she's not dead for good though. Because last season definitely brought back some dead characters. So who knows. But to see Kara. Like she was somebody that I, I thought was interesting in the first season. But she's come a long way. That heel death move was pretty effective. And then later on when you see her go face to face with Tobias. Sure she, she, she lost. But she got out of there, and I, and I hope they do a lot more with her. Robert Townsend, it was a big surprise to see him show up in the episode. And he's a longtime friend of Jefferson, but he's also very much against him. Uh, and, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with him, if he's going to be a part of it. I bet you that he, the way how he is and, and what he meant to black movies and black characters back in the day, I could I can almost bet that he saw... Uh, the first season and just said I want to be a part of that and so here he is Jennifer having her floating in the air moment was pretty trippy and then she accidentally hit her mom with with a blast and but I like that the mom went back to her and comforted her like we're gonna get some family drama uh, and, and she's a teen so she's gonna have some angsty moments but I like that it didn't linger or, or characters weren't being immature characters like they might be on some other CW shows and Anissa going into that house and having that fight with all those guys it was almost as good as the daredevil hallway fight scene uh, maybe the only difference is that this wasn't shot in one take where she goes through the halls and fights everybody this was cut up in a way but between the music the music is great on this show it's always been great but just this episode especially they were able to afford some nice songs and i like that they're predominantly black music i loved anessa getting in there and she stole the money but she did it to give it to the church i just i like that she went off and did something on her own she might have her own side story side plot going on and i want to talk about henderson um he knows Black Lightning's secret. It was it was bound to happen. I just wasn't expecting it to happen in the first episode of season two. But they gave us so much. This felt like a movie. This felt we got so spoiled in this one episode, and there was real consequences in this scene, especially the two of them. Uh, Henderson wanted to shoot him, or he felt so betrayed. But I think in the back of his mind, he appreciates what. Black Lightning is doing so he's trying to figure it out and I hope they continue this relationship I hope they help each other I hope he becomes his Commissioner Gordon because I like them working together but if he goes against them I'm interested to see what happens there as well this show is going in so many right directions so far season 2 is off to a great start Wow 
I have to admit, I was one of the people who didn't know what to think when Ruby Rose got cast as Batwoman. I wasn't angry and ready to threaten her like other people were, but I still didn't know if she was the right fit. But after seeing this picture, I love it. Let me know in the comments below. Did you also watch Black Lightning, the season two premiere? Did you like it as much as I did? Are you really digging this show? Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Oh, yeah.